Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. Yet another one fired at Meghan and her phony royal brand, British journalist John Moyer. He also does not speak in a petty voice, blaming Meghan for going after Target customers and for doing the same Martha Stewart and for copying Martha Stewart and Flamingo Estate. Furthermore, Moyer also did not omit Meghan's dirty nickname since now she is talked so unkindly about. I'm not surprised of it. The number of stars and big public persons who condemned the Sussex couple seems to be expanding. As already mentioned, Jen Moyer made a satiric article in which she publicly makes the most ridiculous product suggestions according to the supermarket of Meghan Markle lifestyle brand American Riviera Orchard. I suppose she came to England to launch a dog food range and forgot to bring the dog, Moyer says unfriendly. She didn't forget. She abandoned a dog in Toronto, and the one she was supposed to fetch got seriously hurt here in the UK. I assume that's the one with the plaster casts, I think she left one in the US as well. Left one doesn't even sound the best. I guess that this morning appearance was conclusive proof that the dog didn't enjoy Harry. It sounds to me like the dog has a sheep. And left behind had so much instinct. He was very clever. He was conscious, and she was unlike Harry. There are so much ambition to the brand, and she always does the opposite of what she says. She bangs on with her word salad about her mission and ambition to inspire and empower women and girls. She get into marriage with royal family, having late queen as the role model, the most powerful woman, then makes a fun of her. Now, she's empowering herself with selling dog food, bath mats and scented candles. That's hilarious. I think she's turning only to dog food just to piss off Catherine. Her brother has a brand of dog food, so she's trying to go after him. And, of course that's something a narcissist can't resist. Late Queen Elizabeth II made it absolutely clear that they cannot use their title to profit themselves. Today, Meghan violates that agreement. Two mayors even call for stripping Harry and Meghan's titles. And yet, so far, the strongest step of the palace has stopped at the movement of these two persons to the bottom of the website. Apparently, Sussex started to use their title even more boldly. Meghan had even used name of the charity to brand. By the way, remember that King Charles supported the development called Poundbury. Nearly Dorchester, an area with an OK housing development and some business things with social housing to enable community support in high populations. Can you imagine Harkles doing that amount of charitable and community work? Meghan did abscond with the cipher and label design, it is with his wording he uses from King's Home Orchard Highgrove Royal Orchard. You see his design, you could see Meghan copied it exactly, the king grows all his products only once, and they are 100% organic, and he gives every penny to charity, even paying for the shop to be kept up, marketing, wages, and every bill that he uses. Meghan, on the other hand, is going to have a supplies done by the same suppliers of our design from the dollar store. Let me see, winners here are Walmart and maybe Old Navy, with her costs cheap on bulk. She raised the cost of it too, sells at 10%, and 50% margins, like that grocery bag made in India, it costs maybe 300 but sells it for 2000. What a humanitarian, right? At the best of times, no real humanitarian would even think of being aligned to luxury brands that are available only to very few and that too at select times, leave alone now. Worst timing is always on her side. Luxury brand launching when reciting food banks, making purchases that they cannot afford, having lost their jobs, even paying for health care. Guess she doesn't care what to sell, just that she thought Harry was a billionaire. Then it dawns on me, pair of numpties, they've left no money. Old has-beens of our time. 
Meghan just can't let go that Harry isn't rich enough to be a prince. And to think that he was without the royal family, Harry is nothing. Lying about how much money he had and that he had access to what not, just like she lied about her Hollywood connections. They deserve each other. The question I have concerning my brand is, who will be my target audience? There is no doubt that my clients will not be celebrities and very wealthy people. So is she expecting the general public, a public she sees as below her, to give her their hard-earned money? If the prices are going to be along the lines of Flamingo, then I don't know who her target market would be with the items that she's listed in the trademark application. It may be even she doesn't know yet. She's all over the place. That may be, but usually, people purporting to do what she says usually start out with one item or category of items. They build on a small scale once they have made some money or got some experience. Martha Stewart didn't start selling products in shops or even a TV show. Megan seems like she is wanting to do it all now. Life just doesn't work that way. Her brand can't even succeed, let alone compete with Martha Stewart. Megan was old enough to know that Martha Stewart had seen a couple of hundred of hers, probably older and wiser. There was absolutely no reason for her to feel threatened. Look at her, first, she started a blog. Then she acted suitcase girl, then a cable show, and went to work to find a high-value rich man. Harry was her win. However, she didn't want to curtsy to Catherine. And so, she said to Harry, for you to become rich and famous, you need to be a big enough deal in the USA. And now, 360 degrees in a circle, she's a blogger, wonders why she hadn't started selling baby stuff, clothes, food, toys, furniture for small ones. I mean as come on, what good mother wouldn't want to be had baby stuff, for the kids, pushing it? Or is this further proof that there is no sign of kids? With Megan's personality, she'd be out in a second the kids got a chance. But she always seemed to forget at the crucial minute. Well, with more details that have been given, I have to see that she didn't really have the kids pregnant. Do I really worry if she really cares for them? Or are they like her brand? Just showed up for the show. Megan wasn't taking much notice. I record my good friend, John War, actually a good journalist in the UK. She has a vicious humor is like me or her friend, people who mock Megan are said to have seen me. Just like. I think Megan throws stuff in a wall and when it doesn't stick, she leaves it for dead. Underscore Coord underscore one and moves on to her big new idea. If it does not happen magically, she doesn't have the will to work hard, so she's out. She wouldn't make this much of the site, she appears to be very lazy. Most I think to do with the rest of her giving up from the royal family would be her dislike to do the duties that are supposedly too much for. She does not like working, no. It's going to die off like every project they have. She wouldn't run it, as in doing all the work. She would run this job by firing random orders at anyone who gave an explanation, perhaps she would blame them for whatever went wrong. Megan should have clicked on the Africa Park Riviera Orchard. And then those evil horribles duo and all will always be reminded of the big issue that they chose to ignore or address. They think it can be swept under the rugs or they can just run away from it. Wrong. It is something that will constantly be there in his conscience. I've heard Gwyneth and her attorney are just observing and waiting, if it's that near to being Gwyneth's project, a lawsuit will be slapped at American Riviera Orchard more likely. Maybe that could be the same for other mostly similar individuals on Zenote. Let the lawsuits begin to see how it's living on the other side before it's too late. They kept asking, no good explanation for the money. Certainly, they kept pressing before they have to give in, I guess it was almost at the bottom. Since you can merely track Harry and Meghan's activities following the abdication of their royal responsibilities, you will understand that their life karma has been carrying. Harry has been involved in legal procedures and scandals from the moment he abdicated his obligations to the throne, while Meghan is failing in nearly every way. Meghan only has the other Harry names to her. 
Megan establishes a starter page without any definition or even a product or registers a trademark, that is all you need to understand regarding her. In other words, everywhere on the internet and get Amazon products under American Riviera Orchards because legal stores and products do, yes, she does not have an original thought or idea. She really loves stealing goop things from Amazon, costly and with a poor to fair review. Megan's store will have the dimensions of a football field considering the list of stuff she intends to sell. Walmart Wallace will be unable to tackle this, much the same as with everything else she's attempted. That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy. I'll see you in the next one.